people, I have a little updated version of the InvEdit on Mac for those who want to play around with their inventory stuff in Minecraft. And uh, this is a much easier uh, method. Uh, if you have Mac or PC, it works both. Uh, obviously, it works for PC, but uh, I'm going to show the Mac. And it's another really easy for those who have the Snow Leopard update. I'm going to show you that right now. Um, you yeah, you don't need three things. You need the Invedit client, which I'm gonna show you how to download, and you're gonna need Mono. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to download that too, and I'm go. You're gonna need the the terminal, but uh, every Mac has the terminal terminal, so that's no problem. We're gonna start with the the ones who has Snow Leopard update, and that's a uh, like uh, update for Mac that you can purchase or if you have a really new Mac I don't really know but if you don't know or if you know uh, try download this from uh, this site right here this link I will provide that in the description you can download that if you feel like checking if you have that because that's a really easy way it's kind of like how the Invedit works for uh, the PC but it's uh, really easy to start and uh, maneuver and everything so it's for the Mac but if you don't know that you don't have and uh, or it failed when you tried it uh, we are continuing and closing that down and that down too uh, you probably coming from this clip this is my last tutorial and uh, it's kind of outdated so we are gonna close that uh, here we go to the mono site uh, I'm going to show you how to download. It's going to look like this when you get to it. To it, you can click download right there. Uh, some people have had some trouble with this. You're gonna click the Mac OS X right there, and uh, latest stable Mono there, and Intel Power PC, and then you're gonna click the Universal Framework right here, and download that. But I'm not gonna do it because I have it installed already. To download the Invedit or the Inventory Editor, as it's called, uh, you go to this place right there. Uh, I'll have that in the description, and you will see some nice pictures and a little tutorial, I think, on how to use it. But it's pretty easy to use. But if you want a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how to deal with the stuff, here's how to deal with it. Um, you download this, click me, and I have a mirror here too. But this one works well. Click download open it um, and I failed to do this part two times so I actually have three one on the, on, of them but uh, you're gonna need this one and you just drag that to the desktop and it's not harder than that uh, when you open it it's gonna look something like this I'm pretty sure and uh, what you're gonna double click in is that thing right there oops there right there and let it install or whatever I don't really remember how it works but it will install some way and it's not gonna open it's just gonna be on your computer and it's a terminal based program uh, so you use terminal to use it so something like that and now I'm gonna show you how you do you just open up terminal and you also need to have invedit on your desktop to be able to do this uh, you're gonna start by clicking CD desktop and uh, you don't need to type ls like this you just use that to show where you are uh, you just need to type cd desktop and then cd env edit and then you're inside that folder you, you can check that by typing ls if you want and yep I'm in there and there you see the invedit.exe file right there and you type um, uh, what is it? Mono uh, space env edit dot exe, and it will start, and it will pop up right there, and uh, then it will will work like it does on the PC, and uh, you can probably figure it out, this out by yourself, and uh, then you need to locate the folder. Um, I'm going to show you where it is right now. First, you go to uh, let's see here my computer, I guess. Uh, personal uh, applications. No, it's not applications. 
you go to... I don't really remember this, it was some time since I did this personal hair, maybe. Um... Fail. Library you're going to, and then application support. Now we're on the line again. And then you're gonna find Minecraft right there, and saves. Oh, we're there. Yay! Uh, which one should I mod? I sh can mod that one right there. And then you press the level dot that file. I will have like uh, how to do this in text too, like uh, which folders and stuff. Open that, and then you will see this. And this is all the stuff. And that this is also my texture pack with the king's crown and everything. You can download that from the description. I'll probably put that right there. We have like the usual stuff in another shape just um I modded the NBT edit or the in edit so it looks like I want uh, but it won't look like this for you unless you mod it yourself but that's kind of hard so we'll skip that for now and uh, the only thing that I recommend you to put in here is TNT because pretty much anything else except for probably the pumpkins uh, or something use, uh, unuseful like that, that's just a lot of fun. If you put like in a lot of diamond or stuff, that will just ruin the fun of the game. So uh, we're going to find TNT, that's right there, and we put that in that spot right there. And uh, you can, don't really need to touch this right here, because uh, that's like how much, if you put if I choose this one right here, uh, it's been uh, hit to a rock uh, 890 times. If I change this to 500, it will uh, go up like that. That's pretty neat to know too, if you want to cheat like a uh, douchebag, but that will just ruin the game. Um, we're gonna change this to like 500, and then it will stop on 255, and that's the most you can have. And then you save that. And you double click this or click it and open and then you can close down this if you feel like. And I'm gonna open Minecraft. Um haven't actually played this since the beta come came out, but uh, I think it will work. Final beta, yay! And we're gonna open world two right there. Let it load a little bit. And here we go. Check our inventory. Oh crap, that kind of sucked, pretty much, but I have it backed up, <laughs> fail, ah, uh, whatever, I'm gonna check here, and then, as you see, we have the TNT, it has no number on it, but when we put it out, it won't disappear, see, we can blow up that when we are burning it down, boom, nice. And as you see, the pickaxe is working too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Please subscribe if you want more, and rate this video a thumbs up if it worked. Peace.